Hello! So it has been way too long since I've made one of these, so thank you for your patience on part three. Here we go. So this is cursive, and last time we left off we were here, practicing this lovely pattern in the right hand, and the left hand moving those positions there. So we had this sort of D minor 9 with F in the bass, thanks to the commenter that figured that out. And then when we move to this C-ish position for the second time, we have sort of two options. And I'm going to teach you the easier version first, and in the next part we'll go over the harder version, which is more accurate to what she does, but this is a great way to start and it sounds pretty close. Here's what it sounds like. So those two chords that I would just that I just added in the middle there, they're both essentially an E major shape. So if you know the E major chord and then you slide it up to the fifth fret, you are going to be in good shape. If you don't know the E major chord, that is fine. Um, we're going to go over it now. Middle finger on the fifth string at the fifth fret. Uh, ring finger is tucked just behind it on that same fret, so it's the fourth string at the fifth fret. Pointer finger is on the third string from the bottom at the fourth fret. Now we've just left off playing that sort of funky C chord where our um, uh, where our thumb is on the fifth fret. So when we transition to this new chord shape, the right hand thumb is going to stay on the fifth string, but all the other three fingers are going to move up a string. So this is thumb now on the fifth string, pointer finger on the fourth ring finger on the third and oh, I'm sorry middle finger on the third and then ring finger on the second string so we're here in this new shape with our new right hand position we're going to play through that twice then we're going to take this exact same shape slide these fingers along the strings like they're trains on a track up two frets nothing else changes. Right hand stays exactly in the same same place it was and all the other fingers and all your left hand fingers stay in the same relative shape that they were just in. Nothing else changes. Just sliding it from the fifth fret down to the third. So um, to go over this shape, uh, this is middle finger on the fifth string, the third fret, uh, ring finger on the fourth string at the third fret, and pointer finger on the third string at the second fret. You're going to play through that three times. One, two, three. And with a the thumb, then the beautiful thing about this version is that you can keep your pointer finger exactly where it is on this uh, third string second fret, move your other two fingers and you'll be back exactly where you were. So you've, you've started on this position here. Then if you move your ring finger down to the second string and your middle finger down to the fourth string, you've just made a beautiful little swap and you're right back where you started. You can start in on the second verse. Cool. So the whole thing is gonna sound like this. So we have our one, two, three, four, two, three, four, switch back again, two, four, switch back last time. Now I have that kind of big jump. Not perfect for me either. Right back into it. So that is the easier version. If you want the more accurate version, I will put that in the next video.